Now, once you've finished working on your Pro Tools SE session, you'll want to export it to a new file so that you can burn a CD or encode it for your iPod. So here we are back in our session. Let's take a listen to what we've got. Let's hear it from the middle. Now some instruments have echo and reverb and you'll want to account for this at the end of the song. So everything is silenced by about bar 18. I'm going to make a selection from bar 18 all the way to the beginning of the song. And that will be the length of our exported file. Now from the file menu, choose export audio. Our mix will be CD quality. If you've purchased the MP3 option, it'll be available to you. Click export and you can see that we're currently in the audio files directory of our session. Check it out. Music, Pro Tools SE Sessions, My MIDI Session, and then Audio Files. However, I want my exported file to be somewhere else. Music, and then right here. I'm going to create a new folder called Pro Tools SE Mixers. I'll then give my mix a name and then hit save. Your mix will export in real time. Once complete, the file will convert and that is it. You can now quit out of Pro Tools SE. Don't forget to save the session. And now if we come up to the file menu and choose new finder window, you can see that the mix is in music, Pro Tools mixers, and there it is. Hit spacebar to preview the file. Mm -hmm. 